Hi, my name is Mary and it is November 25th, 2015. It is the day before Thanksgiving and the purpose of this video is to help spread some awareness and hopefully help you gain some knowledge and understanding about a disease that I have struggled with for the past year or so. Not only will I be sharing this with my family and my friends, but I'll be sharing with uh, this with a few uh, support groups that I belong to in hopes of reaching out to somebody who has felt like me just to let them know that they're not alone. I'm going to start out by telling you my story. It started August last year. I had food poisoning that didn't resolve. Um, there was some really bad bloating, some other abdominal issues that uh, ended up uh, causing some esophageal ulcers. Those were very, very painful. That was my first glimpse of the illness that I would have to face. I chalked it up to being a weight issue as I had gained a lot of weight over the years after having my daughter, being on medication, being depressed, um, using food as a comfort, things like that. Um, I had gained a lot more weight than I should have. So I started working out, changed my eating habits, changed the way that I thought about food, everything. By February, I had lost 60 pounds, which was extremely exciting. Um, I was really, really proud of myself because I've always been overweight. And by conquering that uh, demon inside me, um, I felt like I could do anything. In February, my husband and I and my daughter went out to dinner at a uh, Mexican restaurant. I had a chicken quesadilla. The next day I was admitted to the hospital for four days. I was admitted for uh, high liver enzymes. They had done an ultrasound, my liver was inflamed. Um, pretty much things were not going well for me. They didn't know why. They knew it had something to do with my stomach um, because it was triggered by food. So they treated me with Reglan, which is uh, commonly used to treat gastroparesis. Um, after having the mixture of Reglan and morphine, I decided that I wanted to approach this a more natural way. They treated me as if I had gastroparesis. Then they referred me to GI, which then uh, did an endoscopy and a gastric emptying test, which came back positive for uh, gastroparesis. So after that, I was given options, very little options, but I was given um, diet plans to live by, some medication options, um, and I had decided to go the natural route, acupuncture and massage and diet changes and oils and things like that because of how scared I was of medication after having Reglan and morphine. So um, after that, things kind of went okay, but then over the next four months, I was admitted to the hospital three to four days, um, four times, four separate times. Um, each time it was either for malnourishment or um, liver issues again. They couldn't really put their finger on which caused which, but they knew that there was some damage to my liver from what was going on with my body. I had two feeding tubes. Um, the NG tube is what I opted for. It's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, it is, they called it the garden hose. They put a tube inside your nose, up your nose, up your sinuses, down your throat, into your stomach. They medicated me and uh, tried to help bounce me back from a really bad bout of malnourishment um, with that. The last feeding tube I got dislodged, caused some uh, nerve damage in my face, and um, I haven't had another one since because I, am, I don't want to go through that again. But um, I tried to deal with it um, the best I could. I lost my mind. Malnourishment does things to you that you don't even realize. Um, it changes you as a person, I believe. Um, I became more anxious. I had a hard time driving. Um, social situations gave me 
uh, some severe anxiety issues and would throw me in depression, which doesn't help your stomach because um, there, there's a lot of uh, connections between your emotions and your, and your stomach, and you can feel it. When your stomach is bad, you can feel uh, anxiety in your stomach. Anyway, so by the end of May, I had tried to eat baby food, uh, tried to do Ensure, um, still trying to do it naturally, but it was just not working. Um, I was admitted the end of May for liver failure, and I had been dealing with that for a while, but um, it was starting to get to a really dangerous, dangerous point. They found I had gallstones, and my gallbladder was done. It was no longer going to work for me. They removed it. Um, we thought that was going to help a lot of the acidic parts of gastroparesis, and it has, but it has not resolved itself completely. Post-viral uh, gastroparesis usually resolves itself six months to a year, and I have yet to re reach remission. The um, most recent time I've been uh, at the hospital was on Friday, so I am in no way fixed, which is discouraging, you know, especially this time of year. Um, I want to be able to enjoy turkey and stuffing and pie and stuff with my family, but that's just not an option for me. It's going to be a little bit difficult um, this uh, Thanksgiving versus last Thanksgiving. Last Thanksgiving, my disease did not take over our world. This year has uh, physically, emotionally, financially uh, taken its toll on um, me, my husband, and my daughter. And when people comment on my posts about my um, uh, fitness and uh, things like that, saying that they're thinking about me and stay strong and things like that, it makes all the difference in the world. There are times where I feel like I am completely alone, that people don't understand how difficult it is to live a life without food, without solid food, without social get-togethers around the dinner table, and I have had to learn to live without that and unfortunately so has my daughter and my husband and making this video has been very difficult I want to cry about it but I cry way too much about it <laughs> I don't cry about much but this disease has changed who I am to the core and that's why I'm making this video if this makes somebody understand a little bit more about what I go through and I get a we're in your or I, I'm in your thoughts message on Facebook good that's wonderful that makes that makes this a little less unbearable now for the people that have gastroparesis I know what you're going through and I wish I could help you I hope that this makes you feel less alone and less depressed and less anxious. This time of year is so beautiful because families get together and I really want to be able to enjoy that. And I know you do too. Me opening up about this has taken a lot out of me. So I really hope that it does good somewhere. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to listen to something that has turned my entire world upside down in the past year. This is my life. Fitness is my life. Gastroparesis is my life. My daughter is my life. My marriage is my life. This part of my life, I have not been able to open up like this about. I can tell you all I want about how much I deadlifted today, or how far I ran, or the yummy salad that I was able to eat. But I cannot ever post how miserable I am. 
I want everybody to know that I'm thinking about you this holiday season and I wish things were better for me um, so that I could be a more productive member of society um, and part of uh, family and friends. I've thought about that every day since I got sick is what everybody else is losing by having me in their life, having me sick like this in their life. My husband, my daughter, my dad, my lovely sister-in-law, who they all have taken care of me. They've all seen me in some extremely, extremely difficult moments. But they've been there for me throughout the fear of life and death and is this going to be the meal that kills me? Uh, is my liver going to give up? What's going to happen? You know, um, that kind of stuff is just, it's debilitating. That kind of fear is just a beast. It's, it's a beast. But again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. It so means so, so, so much to me and Sean and Lily. And I hope everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope you eat some yummy turkey for me. And thanks for watching. Love you.